Hey guys, Mike here at Amazing Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. All right, well, we're going to do a short video today. Uh, again, a subscriber request. Uh, I received a question how to create holes in an object without using the Boolean function. Now, if you're somewhat familiar with Maya, you know that Boolean creates trouble usually. Uh, so I'm going to show you a way to make a perfect round hole without using that Boolean. Okay. So let's just get started by creating a simple polygon plane. And we'll just drag that out in the grid. I'll hit Control A for my attribute editor and set my translate values to zero to get it nice and centered on my grid. And on my polyplane, I'm going to make this 20 by 20 to make it perfectly square. And in subdivisions, we'll do, uh, let's see, 10 by 10. That's maybe a bit much. Let's do five by five. All right. Okay, so let's say you want to make a perfectly round hole exactly in the middle of this plane here, right? So right there. What we're going to do is we're going to close this out. We're going to open our modeling toolkit right there. Come on. Yep. And we're going to select our multi-cut tool. I'm going to click here and click here. Hit enter. And we're going to click here and click here and enter. And by the way, if you don't have the multi uh, uh, the modeling toolkit and the multi-cut tool because you have an earlier version of um, Maya, then you have the, uh, what is that thing called again? Uh, the split tool that was in Maya, I think until 2014, does pretty much the same thing. Okay. All right. So we got that. We're going to hit Q on our keyboard. And I'll close this out. I'm going to right click, go to vertex, and select that middle vertex right there. And I'm going to go up to Edit Mesh and under Vertex to Chamfer Vertices, which creates that little square right there. Okay. All right. So then we're going to go in, right click Face, select the face, hit Delete. I'm going to go in and uh, kind of make sure that my edges stay in shape once I smooth this out. So I'm going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, and we'll do one close to the edge there, close to that one over there. We'll do one here and one here. There we go. We're going to hit Enter and hit Q on our keyboard. And now we're going to go up to Mesh and smooth oh, sorry gotta get the object first right click object mode there we go mesh and smooth and once more mesh and smooth okay so now if we look from our top view you can see that we have a nice round hole without using the boolean function that's all there's to it all right. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'd love to see you guys again. Bye.